Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul, and with Oscar Isaac's casting as Moon Knight breaking the internet this week, I thought I'd take an in-depth look at the character to tell you everything you need to know about him. Now Moon Knight is often labelled as Marvel's answer to Batman, and though this is true in a lot of respects, he goes far beyond that in my opinion. Over the last couple of years, the character has really switched direction from the Dark Knight, and I think as we go through this, you'll see that there are a lot of differences. Oscar Isaac was a popular fan cast for The Dark Knight, but with Robert Pattinson, Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton currently over at DC doing the Lord's work, I'm glad that Isaac found another role that he feels like a perfect fit for. Now Moon Knight aka Mark Spector originally appeared in Werewolf by Night 32 all the way back in 1975. Created by Doug Monk and artist Don Pillman, he was originally supposed to be a villain that would go head to head with a titular character, and this is what the initial arc centred around. After the copies went to print, editor Marv Wolfman and Len Wein liked him so much that they decided to place him in other arcs and they switched him from a villain to a hero, which is where we are pretty much at today. Throughout his long and rich history, we've learned several things about Spectre, and his origin story begins all the way back in Chicago, Illinois. Mark Spector was born the son of a Jewish rabbi, and he and his father had a strained relationship. Mark believed that his dad was a coward because he fled the East in order to escape the Holocaust. Mark stated that he should have remained in fort, and this led to him enrolling in boxing classes before he switched his attention to the US Marine Corps. Spectre was an excellent soldier that was pretty much unrivaled in the field, and the character served as part of Force Recon, which is one of the most infamous US reconnaissance groups. Spectre, which just so happens to be another word for ghost, ended up leaving the marines and not long after he became a mercenary that operated in black ops for the CIA. So not a guy that you really want to meet down a back alley, or well ever. Now Isaacs himself is half Jewish, and I really think that with his build and overall look that he's going to fill the shoes perfectly as we explore his backstory through the Disney Plus show. Now every hero of course has a defining moment, and Spectres comes in when he stumbles across an archaeological dig in Egypt. Those at the site had uncovered an ancient temple that was built to worship the Egyptian god of the moon, who we learn is called Khonshu. Now it turns out that Raoul Bushman, the man who had hired Spectre, was actually after the treasures at the site, and he killed several of the archaeologists there. Spectre challenged Bushman to a fight, but ended up getting his ass handed to him, and he was left for dead. Stupid Bushman, ne never leave anyone, make sure you see them die. Now Spectre was found by the locals who worshipped the moon god, and they carried him to their temple and placed him before the statue of Khonshu. The god then appeared to Spectre, and it offered him a deal. He would get another chance at life if he became an avatar for the god on earth, and Spectre accepted this. Wrapped in the silver shroud surrounding the statue, he went after Bushman and defeated him in the process. Spectre then returned to America, took up the mantle of Moon Knight, and became a crime fighter. Now, the reason that Moon Knight gets so many comparisons to Batman is because Spectre ended up investing the money that he'd made as a mercenary, and the character gained a small fortune that led to him becoming a multi millionaire. Similar to Batman, Spectre also fights criminals with gadgets and gizmos, and even has a number of projectiles, which are sometimes referred to as moonrangs. Yeah, I, I wonder where they got that idea from. Anyway, on top of this, Spectre adopted the identity of Stephen Grant in order to continue his business dealings. This was pretty much a playboy persona that he used to masquerade in high society with. He also developed another one called Jake Lockley, who was a taxi driver in the city. These personalities combined allowed him to accumulate a lot of wealth, whilst it also allowed him to keep his ear close to the criminal element that existed in Chicago. Though Spectre doesn't have any superpowers per se, he does have a very particular set of skills, skills that he's acquired over a very long career. Skills that have made him a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that will be the- sorry, I, I don't know what's come over me. Now, now, obviously, as he was initially a boxer that moved on to become a US Marine, he's picked up a number of tactical fighting techniques and military skills that means he's an expert at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Moon Knight has actually killed quite a lot of people due to his past, 
but at one point in the comics he did vow to never take another life, which is probably the avenue that they'll go with in the show. In addition to boxing, Spectre has also trained in the arts of ninjutsu, muay thai, judo, kung fu and karate. Because of his training he's able to perform at an olympic level and he's also a master in acrobatics, thus traversal around the city is very very easy for him. Now he did mention the moonerangs before, but on top of this the character also carries with him a truncheon and a bow staff. He's also equipped with bowlers, throwing irons and crescent darts that are shaped like scarabs. Moon Knight at one point also upgraded his costume to be lined with adamantium and this provided him with an almost bulletproof level of protection. Moon Knight is a master pilot and thus he's pretty much the perfect all rounder and I think that they have a lot of avenues that they can take him down in the series. Now if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then this is our obligatory reminder that we do videos like this every day and you know what, would love to have you as part of the community. We're also giving away 3 copies of the Marvel Phase 1 box set on the 30th of October and all you have to do to be in with the chance of winning is subscribe, turn notifications on and drop a comment below. We're trying to hit the 400,000 mark by the end of the year and it would mean the world to have you watching the videos. Anyway, thanks for sitting through that. Now, where Spectre diverts from Batman quite heavily is that he actually gains superpowers at one point which were triggered by certain phases of the moon. I guess when your life is a gift from a literal god, that a lot comes with it and the fuller the moon got, the, the more Spectre's abilities of strength and endurance increased. Now I know that Batman in certain recent DC comics is confirmed to be a metahuman, but I've just burned that out of my mind along with the rest of Rebirth. I'm sorry yeah, it's fine, it's, it's just not me. This is sort of how I see Moon Knight as well and he did eventually lose his powers after Conchu stated that he was disobedient towards him. Now it is possible that Spectre simply imagined the entire thing about Khonshu and he could have self hypnotized himself into believing that the god gave him another chance and that he also has abilities. Because of this the comics have dealt with several aspects of Mark's mental health, his multiple personalities and overall there's a large amount of the comic book community that believe he could just be a crazy guy who imagined Khonshu coming to him. The books have gone back and forth on this and at one point his personalities were even diagnosed as being all parts of Khonshu such as the Pathfinder, the one who lives on hearts and the Embracer. Thus it is possible that his possession by the god caused him to try and rationalise what was happening to him and he invented these personalities in order to comprehend it. Whether he, he's a truly a manifestation of Khonshu or if he hallucinated everything is something that we don't know for definite but in my opinion the series is definitely going to tackle it. I'm so glad that we have an actor the caliber of Isaac portraying this as I think he could definitely handle it really well and take the character down some dark roads. Now Moon Knight has also adopted the moniker Mr Knight and he uses this to help police investigate crimes and well it just looks really cool. Moon Knight has also been a member of the Avengers and it does seem like Marvel are actually introducing a lot of new characters to slot into the group. Whether it's the Falcon, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, She-Hulk or Ms. Marvel, the studio really seem to be putting the pieces in place to have a completely new group by 2024. As for the show, we know that Egyptian filmmaker Mohamed Diab will be directing the majority of the show and as he's Egyptian, you can bet that we will probably get an adaptation of the original Bushman storyline to kickstart the series. I think Marvel have picked a brilliant team to bring Moonlight to the screen and I'm very excited to see what happens next. As for the release date of the show, we don't know for definite when it will air just yet, but for the moment I think 2022 is a safe bet. I know that Falcon and Winter Soldier was pushed back, but the studio have a much better hold on the pandemic now, so I think things will get rolling along on schedule. Anyway, that's everything you need to know on Moon Knight. I just want to give a huge shout out to the wiki created by Fandom for putting all this information together. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the character and what you want to see in the show so make sure you comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video then please drop a thumbs up and also check out our breakdown of everything we know so far about season 3 of The Boys which is going to be linked at the end. If you want to support the channel and get to see content early then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat us on a discord server linked in the description or heavy spoilers on twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video, you've been the best, I've been Paul and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.